How do you feel about girls making the first moves? I made the first move with my BF, and I'm really glad I did. My first attempt didn't work at all. We were watching a movie on his couch, and he was under a blanket. I said to him that I was also really cold, and he jumps off the couch to get my own blanket. Mind you we were having a 14 hour long first date. So I took my chances and gave him a kiss. He told me later he wasn't sure about what I wanted and played safe, so if I didn't like him like that we could become friends. My advice is not go and kiss everybody but feel the water and know that guys are really insecure too. Oh fuck I just realized I may have missed some hints. Last week I invited a girl over to my house to watch a movie and about halfway through she says she's a little cold, so I grab her a blanket. Keep in mind I turned the heating system already up to a comfy 18 deg point C, but she keeps insisting she's cold, so I grab two more blankets for her. Then she stays quiet for about half an hour, until she says she is still cold, so I run upstairs and grab my blanket from my bed, and one of my hooders, and give it to her. Luckily she felt better after that, but I wasn't sure if she wanted to cuddle or if she was actually cold, and I didn't want to make it weird by misinterpreting it. Not as bad as me mate, I was watching a movie with a girl and she complained about how no one would kiss her, and the turned and looked at me. I just said no one kissed me either. If she didn't try to kiss you after that then she wasn't trying hard enough. Yep that's 100% girl's fault. Men aren't telepathic creatures. Lol, we are you just supposed to force yourself on her at that point, sheesh. What if she is just Canadian? Best to play it safe like you did. Literally every guy in this thread will be very happy for you to make the first move. I would add, and make sure that the guy understands your move. When I was a teenager, I was so amazingly naive. A girl could have come to me and asked me to go out with her, and I still wouldn't have gotten the message. I was an idiot back then. Op, if you like the guy, then by all means, make the first move. But don't expect him to get the message at first. Go hang out with him, talk to him, and get to know him. Once he's used to having you around and not afraid to talk to you, he should get the idea to ask you out. If he doesn't, then suggest that you guys go out to a movie or for drinks, or whatever. Looking back at my younger days, I really was an idiot. There were several girls who were interested in me, and I had no f***ing clue. I didn't really grow up until I was in college, and even then, it was a slow painful process. I'm so embarrassed today when I think back to those days. Can confirm, guys are dumb as shit. Had a very wonderful drummer from a band a friend was in back in high school ask me to a movie. Didn't find out until the end of the night that it was a date. We are very bad at picking up signals. In middle school a girl asked if I wanted to hang out with her and suggested we might drink a tea or something. Completely oblivious me answered nap, I don't like tea. It never occurred to me what she actually meant until years later a buddy told me she was actually upset over it back then. Went swimming at the pier with some friends one summer. Later we walked to the gas station and were hanging out on the bench outside. One girl was leaning on me with her head on my shoulder and said you smell good. My reply? No I don't, we were just swimming in dirty fish water. Didn't realize her thought process until like, now. Fuck him dumb lol. We are very bad at picking up signals. Going to add to this. We assume you are being nice, because we weigh our options for approaching. If you were actually flirting it could be a date. If you were being nice we could get called a creep, and have that spread to her friend group. I've had a couple times where I was 80% sure she was flirting with me, but it didn't outweigh the risk of asking. One was at the gym I frequent. I went there 5 days a week, and she was there every time. I don't need that awkwardness in my life. This kinda sucks because on one hand I'm like who cares what her and her stupid friends think. I had good intentions, but then I'm like, oh, yeah, it's me. I care. A lot. Colon open bracket. This is where want to grab a coffee is perfect. If it's a yes, it's likely she is into you, and you get to spend a bit more time talking and getting to know her better where you'll no doubt get plenty more signals to confirm she's not just being friendly. If it's a no, at least you know, and it's not a hugely embarrassing knockback that makes things awkward if you're around her again because it was only a coffee. Some girls are bad at picking up on signals too. I invited a girl to a dinner at my place on Valentine's Day. 
it was just us, and I cooked dinner for her, and we had a good time talking and hanging out for hours. At the end of the evening, just to make sure we were on the same page, I asked her if she thought this was a date or just a dinner with a friend. Turns out we just had a friendly dinner. Ultimately it was a pleasant evening and I learned I should focus my interests elsewhere. We are both still friends. Not as bad as that, but as a girl I can say yes sometimes we can be bad at picking up signals. It was on Valentine's Day, and one of my friends asked everyone to be their valentine as a joke. When she asked me someone else came in and said no she's mine. After that we ended being each other's back quote valentines for the whole day which I thought didn't mean anything. We ended up hanging out with each other after school too, even though I didn't talk to them very often. I had absolutely no idea, but later found out that they had a crush on me. And even if you do pick up hints, you're hesitant to actually take them as signals, because it might not be on purpose and you don't wanna be creepy or anything. Can also confirm. Asked a guy to watch a movie with me, and when he kept looking through Netflix I finally told him it didn't matter to me, because I didn't even plan on watching the movie, wink wink. Later found out that went straight over his head, when he didn't make a move. Turns out he thought I wanted to be friends. I'm dating him now, but god men are oblivious. Can reconfirm. I'm guy. I'm dumb as shit. At university I was playing around with a bunch of people in the residence lounge and was giving a very cute girl a piggyback ride around the room. She whispered in my why, don't you carry me up to my room? I answered sorry, guys aren't allowed on the girl's floor and proceeded to give her another ride around the room. She was on my back, so I missed her look of disappointment and confusion. I honestly thought she just didn't feel like walking up the stairs. Can confirm, guys are dumb as shit. It's not really being dumb as shit. It's that guys aren't generally taught about the fact that somebody might be interested in them, actually pursue that interest and genuinely want them. Doesn't help that apparently neither of the parties are taught to talk and properly communicate. Which, quite frankly, doesn't surprise me, seeing how we are all brought up consuming the same media, books, games and so on, where love is some sort of a magical force fate and so on, the guy does all the pursuing, the girl is just there, waiting to throw herself in his arms, but only if he overcomes all the adversities, wins her heart and or slays the dragon that threatens her village. What is worse, everybody seems to reinforce these stereotypes rather than dispel them, and it takes a lot of thinking, introspection and ruminations to actually come to the conclusion that the easiest way is to just talk and state your expectations. So, you end up being a 20 something year old guy suddenly realizing, 10 years later, fuck, she was into me all the time and I didn't notice. But honestly, it's hard to blame anybody for that. It's kind of bad, because if you also happen to be that shy not so social type of guy this can mean you literally never going to get a girlfriend. Like it's a joke that, if you reach 30 years being virgin you become a wizard, but there are people out there who are going full speed to be an archmage, because they are not the types who actively seek relationship. Can confirm. We can be totally oblivious if you don't say directly what you want. If we don't get the hint, if you invite us for coffee or a movie etc, just be more direct and ask if we would like to go on a date. If only I had a time machine and could go back in time to kick myself every time I did not get the hint. I actually would not do that, because it might mean I would not meet my current GF. She's awesome and she actually did ask me out first. I had no idea she was into me. We have been together for 7 years now. But also learn to be okay with rejection, if they say no. As soul crushing as it feels at the time, the correct answer to that is that's alright. It doesn't mean you are some unlovable creature, just that they are not into you. There are a lot of people in the world that might be compatible with you. My biggest fear as a teenager was rejection, and that fear stopped me from even thinking about asking a girl out. I was so paranoid that she would laugh at me that I removed myself from the game before it even started. Growing older and learning that one person saying no is not the end of the world was a relief 